Ah, handa na po ang tumugod ng Pangulo. Ako na po magtatanong si Raymond Diraza ng Bombo Radio, Philippines. Raymond. Magandang umaga po, Mr. President. Good action naman po sa pahayag ni na former Senator Arroyo at Santiago na illegal daw ang yung bago, yung disbursement acceleration program at baka daw, well, sinasabi na ground for impeachment laban po sa inyo, Mr. President. Sunong nila, kung palagay nila nasa tama sila, pero kakabasa ko lang sa Constitution, merong authority sa savings no, to, to put to other uses na sa nandun sa ating budget. Pangalawa po, Mr. At President. Ulitin natin, no? hindi naman oh. nakatoka naman yun supposed to be for projects that are already authorized by Congress. And since they were both senators, no, one would assume that they were either supportive of the budget or they were not successful in thwarting the budget. So you are confident with the legal basis that uh, you've been saying with this DAP? Yes. Sir? Uh, next question. Yung reaction din po sa public sentiment at uh, Ms. Tulang pinapalabas pa ngayon ng ilang kritiko na hinahayaan nyo daw yung corruption dahil sa DAP at yung binagin nyo kanina na tinatawag pa kayong pork barrel king, ay king ngayon. <laughs> Ulitin natin ha, pork barrel king. So, dati, reenacted budget. Reenacted budget, may nang tapos na proyekto, programa, savings. O, ayaw natin na reenacted budget, either in full or in portion. Pinilit natin may act yung budget at the right time para wala na kayong kakayahan na magkaroon ng pondong biglang pamumutmot. Okay. Malampaya, napakahigpit. No? Hindi kasi nakalagay doon sa wording sa, and for other purposes, doon sa batas na nag-authorize nito. Oh, energy and other purposes, di ba? So, ang ginawa natin, tingnan nyo, nandiyan naman record eh. Saan natin dinala yung pondo? Situ electrification, energy project, security, malampaya fields amongst others, no? capability upgrades ng ating sa natan lakas to secure the said areas. So, energy related. Standby na fund kung papasukan natin o ng mga kooperatiba yung gensets para ma maibsan ang kakulangan ng kuryente sa Mindanao. Energy related project hindi tayo nakisali doon sa purposes na napakalayo sa energy. So, ulitin na naman natin. No? Tinanggal ko na naman yung kakayahan ko na mamudmud. Yeah? Binawasan ko. Wala na milit sa akin yan. Wala nagturo sa akin yan. Walang, wala nang insist. Yeah? Pero ginawa ko. So, marami na akong ginawa. Eh. Tapos, tatawag nila akong pork barrel king. Medyo, sa tutulang, no? executive magpapa uh, mag yung gagastos ng national budget. Okay? Napakaingat natin kung paano gastusin. Dahil kailangan natin mapagtanggol at any time, kung sino man ang kritiko, no, na tama ang paggugol ng kabanambayan. Last point, Mr. President, and to set the records straight. For now, ano po yung status ng DAP? And kung alam ba ito ng mga mamabatas since 2011, yung conception ng DAP? And kung... Alam mo, napaka-short ng memory ng, ng mga tao, eh, no? kini-criticize tayo sa underspending. Katotohanan, meron mga departamento na talaga napaka-efficient, yun nilaan ng kongreso sa kanila, nagagastos ng nasa tamang oras. Meron mga mga ibang departamento for whatever reasons, no, na de-delay. So, ang reklamo ng business community, ng economic sector, ng ilang mga kritiko natin, ang kupad raw namin gumastos na itong budget at nawawala yung pump priming effects. So, the, the, yung accelerate, disbursement accelerating, accelerating program or acceleration program was meant, no, yung departamento na efficient na divide mo into several years yung gagawin, pwede naman magawa in a shorter period of time kung may funding support, eh hinanapan natin ang funds. So, that is all authorized, yung funding for that department authorized by the budget approved by Congress. Di ba? So, ang ginawa lang natin doon, in-accelerate natin yung, yung paggugu, o pagbibigay nila ng servisyo imbis na na-spread out over so many years, no, ikinom, na, na paaga ang pagdideliver. Categorical, Mr. President, nagamit po ba ang DAP as bribe sa mga senators noong corona impeachment? Bakit hindi mo tingnan kung kailan na-release? May na-impeach na si ginoong corona. Kaya ang releases, kung tama tanda ko, October. So, meron bang bribe after the fact? Sana. <laughs> anyway, sige. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Uh, Joel Ginto. Na. Joel. Good morning, sir. Morning. Sir, you <laughs> mentioned earlier that uh, only uh, a reset would uh, solve the problem of corruption in the Bureau of Customs. 
uh, who else would be replaced and what will happen to the district, collect district collectors, especially in light of the TRO that was issued. There are, ano pa, para I don't want to telegraph moves. Eh. Can you just wait to what will happen? Inuna na muna natin dito yung order mandating everybody to go back to their mother units. Ano ibig sabihin nun? I'm told na mapapasok may vacancy in a particular uh, customs office somewhere in the country. Somehow na mamanage nila, na biglang ma-assign into what are considered the best ports like Cebu, Manila, etc. Wala, wala yung plantilla na authorized do sa other units. Sobra-sobra naman yun nandito sa mga considered lucrative. So the first order was, let's put some semblance again of order and you go to where you actually applied for. Okay. After that, you revamp. No? Actually, mali na term na revamp. Eh. We really are replacing quite a number of people in very key positions no? to effect the goal of uh, having customs do what it's supposed to do, which is to collect the, the appropriate duties in full and prevent smuggling, obviously. Sir, um, also this morning, the, this is unrelated, the Asian Development Bank, it raised its uh, growth forecast for the Philippines to 7% for this year and 6.1% for next year. Do you think this uh, forecast is achievable? I think it's achievable, but I would not want to say right now na guaranteed lahat yan. There are factors beyond our control, things that happen in the Middle East, for instance, uh, the current uh, government shutdown in America, uh, but there are also positive factors like the seemingly rebounding of the Japanese economy amongst others that are positive factors. And I, you know, Minuman, I will not state categorically a particular number, but we will continue to strive to make the GDP figure that much higher. So you, you mentioned the U.S. shutdown. Uh, what uh, fallout are we expecting from this? Um, can I, the head of the economic cluster, Secretary Purisima, is arriving Thursday. No, and I would not want to sound alarmist at this point in time, but we are preparing for that. Can, can I just respond at a future time no, in specifics? Sir, uh, well, one last point. Tuloy ba yung visit ni President Obama? We'll make an announcement hopefully within the day. Thank you, Joel. Huli po magtatanong mula sa Radio 5, J.B. Arsenia. Sir, good morning. morning. Uh, sir, can we get an update on the Samba Sambuaga crisis? Um, we're still, you know, I, I think it was yesterday, uh, we're still ferreting, ferreting out some stragglers now. But uh, the AFP has already turned over to the PNP yung actual clearing, yung checking of the communities para siguradong walang booby traps, walang munitions na nandun. Um, make sure that it is safe for the residents to be able to come back there. I was in touch with uh, Mayor Klimako, I'm not sure if it was yesterday or the day before, and uh, I was asking for updates on the planning of the new communities for the people who were displaced by this incident. Um, yung, with regards to Malik, no, we are not ready yet to make a positive statement as to his uh, status. There are tests that are being conducted amongst them in DNA testing no, to determine he, precisely his status. But um, the Secretary of National Defense yesterday emphasized whether he is alive or not, whether he has escaped or not, even the force that he managed to, to lead in Sambanga City is a force that no longer exists. Okay. Now, uh, we will also be moving uh, the detained, no, yung mga captured MNLF rebels, uh, to enhance the feeling of uh, order or security in Sambanga City to another uh, detention facility, lest uh, they become a temptation for their cohorts to try and spring them out and be a source of uh, tension within the community of Sambuaga City. Uh, how about po dun sa status po, sir, ng case against uh, MNL founding chairman Nur Miswari, Malik, and others? Um, Secretary Dilima will be going actually to Sambuaga City no, to check up on the work of the prosecutors that she said who were interviewing all of the witnesses and all of the hostages who are putting the evidence no, yung, that will support the charges. So it is still an ongoing work. Sa hostages alone, you're interviewing over 190 individuals. No? Tapos meron ninyo interrogations uh, done to the captured individuals whose inputs will also be put in. 
meron mga witnesses who were neither hostages nor the captured MNLF. Like, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to say who the witnesses are. <laughs> no. In the, yung, their, their statements are being collated. Uh, the evidence is being collected. At the end of the day, we hope to file um, a very strong case against all of these people involved. Will you offer po, sir, bounty for the arrest? That of was actually my question yesterday. Yung tinanong ko lang, the others that we have actually offered the reward, may outstanding na warrant of arrest, wala pang case final against Mr. Miswari, so syempre wala pang warrant of arrest. Can we actually offer uh, a reward? No? So, yung my legal counsels are uh, studying the matter clearly para sure tayo na we are not violating any law. Sir, uh, ano po yung take niyo, sir, dun sa appeal ni Mayor Beng Klimako to uh, parang uh, declare na po humanitarian crisis sa Zamboanga para po makapasok yung mga aid from uh, international... To declare what, sorry? Declare humanitarian crisis para daw po, uh, yun po yung po suggestion yata ng UN na mag-declare na po humanitarian crisis para daw po makapasok yung mga international organizations. Wala namang harang na. May, mayroon mga foreign organizations, may domestic uh, relief organizations also, who have actually been helping from the start. And of course, the private citizenry. Um, I don't know if we should say humanitarian crisis, no? It is a very significant problem. Over 100,000 are being cared for by the SWD, amongst others, no? Um, state of calamity, I think, has already been declared. Let me check, no? If you, the necessary bureaucratic work has been done. But uh, that gives them access to also the, their funds. You know, we have assured uh, the Zamboanga City LGU, Mayor Klimako in particular, that uh, we will not be scrounging for funds in terms of putting their lives back to order. The funds are available, awaiting only the concrete plan, meaning lahat ng details. Build how many houses where, uh, laying out the actual villages that uh, will be put up, distances to the commercial centers, uh, funding mechanism. Parang yung, how do you actually give the assistance to students who's, um, whose uh, studying has been disrupted if the, both their parents are jobless at this point for in time. Cash specific na cash for work programs, who is entitled and for an duration, etc. etc. No? So yung lahat nun, meron tayong in effect titles of what we intend to do, but we need to have all of the details in place before we are able to disperse the funding. Hindi yung disperse at bahala na yung plano. Plano muna na konkreto, tapos disperse ng funds. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, uh, thank JB, you. and thank you, Mr. President. Magandang umaga.